Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp and I'm here with my sister Megan and we're driving through the US right now. At the moment we're on our big US harp expedition traveling all through the states uh, visiting harp makers and harp experts all around the country and making videos for this YouTube channel and what people have often been asking us along the way is how is the USA different to South Africa and I can't speak for the whole of South Africa but I can speak for where we live in Cape Town and um, maybe our experience of the USA so far. So here are seven things that are different between the USA and where we live back home. So thing number one is about driving. People are often asking us, um, Americans are saying, what is it like driving here in, in the US? Because in South Africa, don't you drive on the wrong side of the road? And our South African friends are saying, what is it like driving in America on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> Um, so it's been kind of fun. We've really adjusted very well. Megan's not having any problems driving right now um, And so it's been totally fine But it was fun when we talked to a harpist friend here called Nicole and she said she's found a Harp related reason why the people in the US do drive on the wrong side of the road even though she's American and she said she's always had trouble um, with fitting her harp her pedal harp into a small car because the tall side of the harp it um, it goes where the driver's seat is whereas and then she realized if you're driving on the other side of the road that tall side of the pedal harp would go where the passenger seat is you can push the passenger seat way forward and you can fit a pedal harp in a much smaller car so there's a harp related reason why Americans drive on the wrong side of the road <laughs> anyway reason number or thing number two that's different um, there are so many drive throughs here in in the US and I think the one that we were most impressed by is a drive through pharmacy which seems so brilliant so smart so so clever um, in South Africa, we don't have drive throughs for many things, maybe just for takeout, and that's about it. Um, so we think that's quite brilliant, and South Africa needs to catch up with the US with that one. Um, and number three is about billboards. There is so much signage here in this so country, many. so many big signs. And even for things that seem like kind of a small store, we'll have like huge signs with really big writing and we don't have that back in our country. Um, and Megan found it quite amusing to see that even lawyers have billboards here. So many billboards like, for lawyers. <laughs> and I guess, so many different reasons to hire a lawyer. Yeah, like, we've never seen like lawyers advertising <laughs> before like that wow <laughs> okay thing number four is about houses so it seems like in the US there's a lot of houses that are built out of wood and back where we live in South Africa in Cape Town um, most houses are built out of brick with plaster over the top um, so we've really enjoyed looking at all the houses here in the US we think they're really pretty um, and then thing number four is also related to that here in the US um, it's so amazing to drive around through a town and you see all the houses so beautifully back in South Africa because of security we have um, well where we live there's very tall fences around every house and like um, six foot six foot tall yeah taller than a person mm -hmm. and so you don't really get to see people's houses and we never really understood the whole thing about curb appeal Megan follows a lot of bloggers who talk about um, redoing houses and thinking about the curb appeal when you're selling a house and that's not a thing back where we are because all the houses are surrounded by big fences <laughs> and thing number six is about air conditioning so that's something we've really appreciated as we've been traveling so far that um, quite a few homes seem to have AC air conditioning and back in South Africa yes there is air conditioning maybe in like um, shopping malls yeah that kind of thing but in homes I mean I don't think I've ever been into a home in South Africa that has air conditioning and with the humidity in some of the places we've been to here we've really appreciated that so I think that's a good one for, <laughs> that Americans do really well yeah back home we just open all the doors and windows yeah we just open up everything and hope that the breeze fixes it and in, in Cape Town we don't really get super humid in summer so it's not too much of a problem but I think it's pretty cool and then thing number seven the the last one for today is about light switches. So we've noticed that in most houses here in the US the light switch is usually on when you flick when you it flick it upwards. Um, back home 
the light switches on when you flip it downwards or you press it downwards so that's been kind of that was an interesting thing to adjust to and we also noticed that in um, bathrooms often here the light switch is on the inside of the bathroom um, whereas back home the light switch is on the outside which always, I think always yeah it's always the on the outside which I think is a lot better because you can then have the light on before you go into the room and have to look for the light in the dark <laughs> the light switch um, so yeah that's pretty cool and another like extra bonus one to do with bathrooms is it seems like like most uh, toilet flushes if they're going to be on the side are on the left hand side yeah. here in the US and back home it's pretty much always on the right hand side or sometimes of course in both countries it's sometimes on the top and so in the beginning we struggled to find <laughs> toilet flushes but anyway there's seven things for you just in case you're interested um, it's been quite fun to see all the different things and we've had a lot of fun exploring this country so far of course more things than just these <laughs> these little things we're mentioning in the video i mean we aren't exploring the country looking at toilet flushes i promise <laughs> mostly it's hub stuff <laughs> mostly it's been hub related things and you'll see some of those videos still coming up later after we get home and get get editing but we're having a lot of fun and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time in a hub related video <laughs> bye